Ricochet doing some moves here, but Christian said, hold on now, Jethro. What is Christian doing up top? Frog Splash! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you guys here. And welcome back to this month's PCW tournament, PCW Destino. We are finally on to the actual tournament part of the tournament where I could put everybody into brackets. We have 32 of the best wrestlers representing the best patrons, and now they're gonna fight it out to see who will become the monthly champion for August and face off against Tetsuya Naito for the PCW World's Championship. Remember everybody to leave a thumbs up to show your support. Tell me down in the comments below what your favorite match of the episode was when you finished the episode, and we're gonna go ahead and jump into match number one of round two. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round two match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Sydney W from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he is the man that WWE forgot, Neville. On his way to the ring, representing Raymond Yu from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He is the cerebral booker of NXT, Triple H. Triple H had one hell of a round number one, getting a 100% and then even moving on to the next round here in round number two. But now he's going to face off against Neville. And let me tell you something about Neville. I don't know if you guys have noticed this man. He might not have won a PCW tournament yet. He might not have been the world champion yet, but it seems like every single tournament, Neville is the one that always gets pretty damn far. So if there's anyone in this tournament so far that Triple H did not want to face, it's probably Neville. But nonetheless, he has to face him. So his Triple H's road is gonna be a little tougher than he anticipated. So we'll see if he can take down Neville. Or if Neville's gonna be able to continue that little journey that he usually takes. He gets pretty far, I'm telling you, like semifinals at. Oh my goodness, what the hell is going on? A front missile drop kick from the top rope. This man, Neville's going in. He saw NXT TakeOver. He's like, whoa now, bro. Let me show off a little bit. Triple H trying to stop that momentum, but Neville is just on fire. This man is showing off flames. Look, he's looking at the Christ hat. What you guys wanna see? You wanna see a flip? I got flips for you. Enziguri will drop Triple H flush there as Triple H just cannot get anything started. At least he was able to get a little contest here. We'll see if he can come out on top of this strike contest or if Neville will be the one to do it again. Neville does it again at the cost of his own energy, but nonetheless, he did it. Into the turnbuckle, Triple H is going to come right out off the ropes now. Neville, what the hell? This man just threw himself right at Triple H. Little European uppercut action. Now Neville goes. Oh, oh, red arrow. 2.9. We are four minutes and 30 seconds into this matchup. What is Neville doing over here? Cross body off the springboard. Whose man's is this? We barely ever see Neville doing this sort of stuff, especially in round number two. This man's going breakneck pace. Triple H can't even keep up. There you go, Triple H is gonna toss him outside the ring, but Neville's back in before Triple H can even get a breather. Triple H with the suplex will send Neville down, maybe get some breathing room there, but it doesn't look like it. Neville's back up to his feet pretty quick. Swinging neck breaker from Triple H here as he's starting to string together a couple moves. Oh, damn! That big clothesline. This ain't Sting, brother, this is Neville. And he got the three of the Northern Lights! Triple H, after having the match of his career in round number one, goes down in six minutes, 29 seconds to Neville, who will be taking Sydney W to the next round. Sometimes it just be like that, man. This match is scheduled for one fall, and it's a round two match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Insurrection from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. The Phenom, The Undertaker. On his way to the ring, representing Grant M from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's the Ayatollah of YouTube Rolla, Chris Jericho. I'm sort of scared for The Undertaker now because The Undertaker had one of one hell of a performance in the first round and uh, well, we saw how that turned out for Triple H. 
That's that's the beast that is PCW, man. You do good one round, that don't mean you're gonna do good forever. Undertaker stuffing Triple H with a power bomb. They're gonna get that one count, but six minutes, 29 seconds, and Triple H is out just like that. Off the ropes now, Chris Jericho is gonna be able to stop himself. Oh, he went for that Northern Lights too, but Undertaker watched that last match. He said, I ain't losing to that. Chop City there from Chris Jericho, center of the ring, going for that suit play. Able to get the Undertaker down, but not for too long. Oh my goodness. That man's been hitting the speed bag. A big boot to the back of the neck bone of Chris Jericho now. Wait a minute, Undertaker two minutes in with the tombstone pile driver. Two. Two point, holy. We truly, truly, truly wildin', huh? Oh, he's got the, oh, 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 he broke the guard of Chris Jericho. And now we have a strike contest here between the two men. I would be surprised to see Chris Jericho go over here. Undertaker, big lariat. The domination from the Undertaker. So he sweeps the leg there after grabbing it. Big boot sends Chris Jericho back about 20 feet. Jericho with a suplex trying to stop the big man any way he can. Dragging him to the center of the ring. I don't even know. I, I don't know what you get. What do you do against the Undertaker? This man is crazy. Oh, wait a minute. Northern Light Suplex. Those have been deemed dangerous this tournament, as we've seen. Off the ropes, Chris Jericho, big boot from the Undertaker. That's smart. Throw him off the ropes. Use that time to get some stamp. Yo, wait a minute. What the? The last ride! This dude's wild enough! Hook the leg! 2.9! Chris Jericho kicked out again. Step up in Zagiri from Chris Jericho now as he goes off the ropes. Goes for a clothesline, Undertaker ducks it. And then he just clotheslined Chris Jericho straight to hell. Oh my goodness. Chokeslam! <laughs> Undertaker! With the true choke slam to hell, Chris Jericho is dead. Undertaker moving on with insurrection to the next round. Brutal. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round two match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Dean L from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's the rad dad of podcasting. He's Edge. On her way to the ring, representing Vincent E from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. She's James Ellsworth's worst nightmare, Asuka. Asuka proven that she can stand with the men just as well as any other man. She's facing off against Edge here. The rated R superstar. Let's see if she can take him down and move on to the next round. The last two matches have been pretty damn quick. The critical out of nowhere. I don't know who is going to be able to beat The Undertaker. Truly, truly, I do not know. This man had an impressive round one. And in round two, he criticals Chris Jericho. Truly do not know who will be able to stop him. But maybe it'll be, uh, you know, Edge or Asuka. See who comes out of this match, the winner, and maybe possibly have the opportunity to face The Undertaker somewhere down the line in this tournament. Asuka now, ooh. Variation suplex, kick to the noggin there to Edge. Got that arm. Ref James gonna ask. Of course, Edge is not gonna give up that early, but working the arm and getting that damage in is definitely a smart move by Asuka. A kick to the head, the forearm follow-up, and my man is down like a rock. Oh my goodness, that hilarious. Asuka not gonna let that happen twice. Snap suplex now as Edge is a little woozy. He's back to his feet, and Asuka now on the floor on the outside. Where's Edge going? He gonna beat her up on the outside? Oh no, don't do that. No. Don't fight on the outside. Y'all gonna get hurt, man. You gotta stay, you gotta stay in pristine condition for this tournament. Remember that PCW on the outside is a 20 count. The back and forth, oh my goodness, they are like backing each other through the ring there. Edge coming out on top, but using all his stamina to do so. A snap suplex now from Asuka now as Edge is down. We just getting back and forth suplexes. Every time someone does something, they fire back and they say, I can do it better. 
Impaler DDT. That could be all she wrote. And it's 2.9, as Asuka said, not today. Maybe some other day. Any other day of the week, maybe. But not today. Asuka now picking up Edge. Oh, looked like Edge was going to go for a driver there, but Asuka's going to get the bull. Whoa, Edge is back to his feet before anything happened. Asuka got that arm out of nowhere. Edge's got to watch out for that, because that could be the end of Edge real quick. Out goes Asuka to the floor now as Edge is on the apron. What has he got planned? Whatever it was, it backfired as Asuka kicks him into the crowd almost. Big German suplex on the floor on the outside. Edge is taking big boy damage. Oh my god, Edge is sick of it, dog. Edge is sick of it, dog. Ref Jane. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, backslide. Did my man just trick her with the chair into the backslide? 2.9. Into the corner goes Edge. Asuka with the butt cheeks. Edge now driving Asuka back. And we have a reset at 7 minutes and 30 seconds into this matchup. Asuka is staying in this. Edge with a driver now as Asuka is feeling the floor. Both back up to their feet, but Asuka's going to be the one that gets the upper hand in that exchange. Oh, I thought she was going to go for the butt cheeks, but the drop kick will do. Oh, caught the leg. Edge starting to get a little smart here. Off the ropes now. Edge back body drop. And now he's going for the legs. Asuka dragging Edge to the center of the ring, looking for a little bit of that booty, booty, booty. You know what I'm saying? Kicks from Asuka, floor edge. Off the ropes, Asuka now. Oh, a penalty kick, but Edge fighting spirit. Asuka said, get your fighting spirit ass out of here. Off the ropes now, Asuka. Oh, and they run into each other. We have a reset at 9 minutes, 28 seconds. The crowd is on fire for this one. Oh, my. What is Edge? Edge with the spinning kick. Into, whoa, whoa. What is Edge doing on the top? Oh, a crossbody. And a three. <laughs> Edge brought out a damn crossbody. This man don't even do that. I guess sometimes you gotta bring out moves you don't usually do in PCW, man. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round two match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Hale Mendoza from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, Mr. Charisma Personified, Viva La Raza, Eddie Guerrero. On his way to the ring, representing Galvanizer from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he's Charlotte's Papa and the woo machine himself, Rick Flair. Two old schoolers going at it. Ricky Flair versus Eddie Guerrero. Oh, we'll see how this one kind of turns out. Eddie Guerrero on that update list. So you can see he looks a little different. Got that Latino heat attire right there, baby. You know what it is. Eddie now off the ropes. Underneath Ric Flair with the swiftness. Rick is definitely not as agile as Eddie. Even in Eddie's later years, he was still pretty quick for his body size. My man packed on some uh, poundage. But he was still agile as hell, so Rick's going to have to watch out for that. Rick not known as the fastest cat in the book. Is that a, is that a saying? Fastest cat in the book? He's not, he's not known as the fastest cat in the hat. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, Dr. Seuss. But anyways, Rick Flair now taking down Eddie Guerrero. That, oh, my goodness. That's a little bit of a disrespect right there, huh? Rick ain't happy about that. I mean, he's not happy about that chop. Center of the ring now. He's got Eddie right where he wants him. I thought we were going to see a chop to the back of the neck. Rick said, let me show you how to chop, boy. Let me show you how we get it done around here. Just the back and forth flipping action here. The early on small grapples trying to figure out, trying to weigh each other out, kind of see what's going on here. Face wash from Eddie Guerrero. Ric Flair said, not today, boy. Pow driver. And Eddie just knows so the pow driver. What? Ric Flair's no selling, Eddie's no selling, ain't nobody selling tonight. One, two. Just a two count off the backslide. Eddie now into the corner, Ric Flair. I thought he was going to go off the ropes, but I guess not. Eddie probably thought it too, and that's why he ended up getting face washed. Sending Ric Flair over the shoulder now. Picking Ricky Rick back up. The chops. Oh, wait a minute. The European uppercut chop battle. Is Rick going to come out on top with the European, uh, or, uh, the, the chops? Or is Eddie going to come out on top with the European uppercut? Because it looks like Ric Flair is the one that happens. Sending Eddie G over. 
Eddie now got him up. Big power bomb stuffs him, but Ric Flair's the one that gets the pin. How did that happen? Just a two. The crowd can appreciate that one. Sending Ric Flair over the top of his head, sending him to the outside of the ring. This man's eating the floor. Rick now back into the ring. The chops from Rick. Eddie sends him to the corner there. What is my man Eddie got planned up here? Whatever it is. Wait a minute, Rick Flair from the top. Is this about to happen? Are we about to see a legendary moment in time? No, it is not gonna happen. I was about to say, is Rick Flair about to connect with a move off the top? Face wash the air on Eddie. Eddie now gonna flip him over the fireman's carry. Stop doing that move, it's too close to John Cena's move, dude. The trifecta fisherman buster from Eddie Guerrero, but Rick, oh, oh, no. Rick Flair just no sold it into the figure four. I'm telling you, Rick Flair does not care. This man is out of control and must be stopped. Eddie flipping him over his head, but I don't know if Rick Flair's no selling trifectas. I don't. Uh oh, classic Eddie here with the taunt into the drop kick, asking for a timeout, not gonna get it. Ric Flair with the suplex didn't send him to the floor though. Dropping an elbow on the head of Eddie Guerrero now as he picks him back up. Gut wrench suplex from Ricky. Just a two count. Eddie Guerrero trying to get something started, but a pile driver will send him into the ground. Eddie, another competitor that's made it pretty far in PCW tournaments. Has not won one himself yet. Not going to lose there either. So he can still win this tournament. He just has to get past Ric Flair. And one way to do that is stringing him over the top rope and kicking him in the dick a bunch. Ric Flair going to send Eddie to the floor. Now chasing him to the outside. Ooh. Four. No way you said that. But four. Y'all know I'm counting right. Damn, Eddie said just bring it, and the crowd got up immediately. Wait a minute. Center of the ring, gut wrench suplex from Ric Flair. Both men are down 11 minutes into this matchup, but Eddie's woozy. That's a sign to look out for. Tilt to world backbreaker sends Ric Flair to the floor off the ropes again. Eddie Guerrero going for the clothesline, not going to be able to hit it. Throwing Rick into the corner. The turnbuckle is looking good. Wait a minute. Eddie Guerrero with the monkey flip out of the corner. I think it's the first time I've ever seen that animation in this whole game. What the? Oh, my God. Eddie Guerrero with the classic Eddie. Ref James, what the hell? Oh, my goodness. And then Eddie with the suplex. All of a sudden getting the upper hand. Oh, I thought he was going to go with the frog splash. He must have known that Ric Flair was going to get up soon. Gut wrench to Eddie, but Eddie is going to be the one that gets up here and has the upper hand before Ric Flair is going to switch it back. Momentum is back and forth. That one move just changed everything. Ric Flair does not give up. Oh, but Eddie's running out of gas. He is running out of gas, and it's happening quick. What has he got planned here? Wait a minute. Oh, my God. The power bomb. Oh, he got stuff. Ric Flair ain't playing no games no more. Picking Eddie Guerrero back up, sending him over. He's in perfect position. Eddie knows what he needs to do to win. Eddie's been to the dance before. Eddie got it! He just stole it over Ric Flair with the roll up! Light sheet steel, baby. Who needs a frog splash when you can just roll him up? Eddie Guerrero and Hale Mendoza moving on. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round two match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Nick J from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he only needs one more match, Christian. On his way to the ring, representing Frost T from patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He is the one and only Ricochet. This man, Christian Cage, coming back for one more match. And he is facing off against Rick O'Shea. We'll see who can come out on top here. Ricochet coming out on top of NXT TakeOver. But this ain't NXT TakeOver, brother. This is PCW Destino. So Christian's got an even, even chance here. We are talking 50-50 here. 
And then you take Ricochet's flight into account, and then his chances of winning drastically go down. You're looking at a 33.3% chance best at winning. And if you add in Christian's beard and the fact that he's wearing a blue attire, we're looking at a, a solid 23 and three thirds percent chance of Christian. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. Christian with the DDT. Dropping the elbow there as Ricochet fires back with a knee in the abdomen. Christian Avi, look at that move. Christian obviously going to try to keep it on the ground. Ricochet, on the other hand, is not. Step up in Zagiri there from Ricochet will floor Christian, but Christian going to get him back with a driver there into the mat head first. Christian going to pick him up as Ricochet is looking a little off. Drop kick from Christian misses. But Ricochet not going to capitalize on the situation at hand. What the? This man just is he dropping? Oh, hold on now. This man's dropping elbows on legs. That's crazy, and that's a smart move. Because this man, Ricochet, he, he relies on his legs. You see, maybe if Adam Cole would have went for the legs more, the situation at hand would have been a little different here. Uh-oh, we got a European uppercut battle, boys. Who will come out on top here? Christian is the one to come out, but he's going to use all of his energy getting that win, and Ricochet's going to fire back with his own. He said, I'm going to win. Might not be in the string, but who cares? Christian went flying back. Did you hear the impact on that move? Wait a minute. Impaler DDT from Christian. Shouts out to Edge. Hold on now. My man's got that clover leaf of doom locked in. Over the shoulder there from Ricochet now. Off the ropes. This is not. Oh my. Superman punch. This is not where Christian wants to be. You start seeing Ricochet run and you're going to have a hard time. Christian picking him up now towards the ropes here. If Christian would have hit that suplex, that would have been a little different there, but the suplex from Ricochet will send him away from the ropes. DDT from Christian as he tries to neutralize Ricochet any way he can, but Ricochet is just going to use that speed and agility. This man's got a plane tattooed on him. This man's flight. This man's flying. This man's be fearless. This man's got all sorts of tattoos on him. My man's crazy. Ricochet now with a knee to the abdomen. Christian going to drop him flush. You hear the impact on that move there. Center of the ring. Ricochet gets up, but he's woozy poozy. Christian might have been going for that. Unprettier, but Ricochet with the spinning kick of doom. DDT from Ricochet now towards the road. This is not where Christian wants to be. He needs to get back towards the center of that ring. Cloverleaf again. Ricochet, is he going to give up? No, no gives up from Rick O'Shea. As he sends him down with a suplex again. A little too far away from the turnbuckle. This is the exact position Christian wants to be. He needs to zone this man. And as you can see, both competitors are down. Christian now getting that cleverly locked in one more time. The more and more he does this, the more and more the chance of Ricochet tapping out goes up. Ricochet now, wait a minute. Tornado DDT out of the corner. Ricochet doing some moves here, but Christian said, hold on now, Jethro. What is Christian doing up top? Frog splash! Just a two is Ricochet. Oh no, Ricochet, you should not have done a top rope move against Ricochet. Let me tell you that, brother. You have made a mistake. Ricochet now takes that as a form of disrespect. And you, uh oh. Ricochet 630 out of the corner. Good God almighty. Just a two count as Christian kicks out. Holy moly, look at that. Uh-oh. Christian on the top rope again with the frog splash, but Ricochet got out of the way. 6.30 to the back. It is just a two, and the crowd is on their feet as, wait a minute. Another 6.30, but Christian fighting spirit. What the hell? What is going on? What is happening? Wait a minute! I'm prettier from Christian, but Ricochet no shows it! What is happening, Frog Splash? Just a two. Down goes Christian. Ricochet picks him back up in the corner. They're back and forth now with the European uppercuts. What is going on? Ricochet with the Enzigiri. Picking up Christian now. Suplex, but Christian's back to his feet. Off the ropes goes Christian. Big front missile drop kick, but Ricochet's not having it. 
The trifecta into the Fisherman Buster. Right near the turnbuckle. That's exactly where Ricochet wants to be. Christian sending him back with a driver. Step up in Zagiri from Ricochet as he goes back to the top. 630. Did you see the distance on that? And it's it! Ricochet picks up the win over Christian. That the whole sequence in the corner. Oh my god. What was that? Ricochet and Frosty are moving on. This match is scheduled for one fall and is a round two match in the PCW Destino Tournament. Representing William C. from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, he's the CrossFit Superstar Seth Rollins. On his way to the ring, representing Stefan D. from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. When it rains, you're probably blaming him. He's the rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada. Seth Rollins in the shield attire. Look at his dude. Facing off against Battle Pants Okada. Yeah, well, good luck with that. If anyone's going to beat Battle Pants Okada, it's shield attire Seth Rollins. So we'll see if Sethi Pooh can do the thing or if Okada's going to rainmaker him to hell. Let's do it, baby. Okada reversing that real quick, that suplex action. I don't know what Seth's going to do because, I mean, out wrestling Okada is definitely going to be difficult. I don't know if he should take a different approach or what he should do, but Seth's probably, you know, he's an architect. He'll figure it out. Throwing a forearm there at Okada. Okada going to fire one back. A clubbing blow to the back of the neck. Seth trying to pick him up for maybe a powerbomb or something, but what is Okada doing? Oh my! He tried to drop the elbow at two minutes in. This man's wrong. What did my man think was going to happen? Okada Dragon, Seth now center of the... Uh-oh. Yeah, I was about to say, Seth, you might want to watch out. Okada gets behind you. That is not good. That Rainmaker's coming. In the corner now is Seth clubbing blow to the back of the neck one more time. Dragon Okada's on center of the ring. Seth wants some of that meat. And that's what he's going to get as they're firing off at each other. Seth's the one that comes out with the upper hand on that situation. Swinging neck breaker from Okada in the corner. Okada, again, he wants that elbow drop. And Seth is just not going to give it to him. That is just not happening here tonight. Oh, I thought Okada was woozy, but it's Seth Rollins that's woozy. Wait a minute, Seth Rollins! Pedigreed Okada! Goes for the pin. Just a two as Okada kicks out. It's going to take more than one pedigree, that's for sure. Okada has taken quite a few finishing maneuvers in his days. DDT to Seth Rollins will neutralize the shield member. From behind, Rainmaker! Is that enough? No, just a two count. Seth kicking out of the Rainmaker. Well, Okada said, well, eat this! Tombstone Power Driver. 2.9! That kick out was so unexpected, it dropped the game's frames for a second. Center of the ring now, Seth Rollins. Big power bomb stuffs Okada. Goes from behind with a forearm, but Okada's going to be able to stop him by dragging his leg to the ground. The punch there from Seth Rollins. Super kick drops Okada right in the corner here. Okada, tombstone power driver one more time. And it's just a two as Seth Rollins will answer the call before the three. Swinging neckbreaker in the corner. I know Seth is looking for that frog splash. Turnbuckle goes Okada now. STO drops Seth Rollins out of the corner. Okada from behind. Seth Rollins able to stop it. Wait a minute. Seth! The V-trigger knee! The rain trigger! This man is out of control. Okada now. From behind, he wants that Rainmaker. You can see it in his eyes. He needs it. More than anything you could ever imagine. Okada dragging him center of the ring. Flipping him over. Super kick firing back from Seth Rollins. And a knee! 
Rollins picks up Okada now, drags him over to this turnbuckle. What has he got planned in this turnbuckle? Buckle bomb from Seth Rollins drops Okada flush. Is that enough? No two count. But Seth is able to stop Okada from getting him up off the floor, which I think is going to help a lot here. Seth with a double axe handle to the back of the neck. Maybe he should have gone for something a little more devastating now as Okada is going to be able to get back up. He's calling for that Rainmaker. Seth saw it coming. It was telegraphed. Seth back to his feet first here, but Okada is going to fire away with a suplex. Picking up Sethy Poo. He's groggy. Rainmaker! 2.9, Seth Rollins kicks out. Okada, tombstone pile driver. Is Seth out for the count? No, just a two. He went for the pedigree, but Okada was able to reverse. It looked like he had it locked in and ready to go. DDT from Okada now. Oh my goodness, the architect, whatever it takes. Shouts out to Degrassi, boys. We out here. Okada reversing the suplex and sending Seth Rollins to the floor. Two, Rollins is woozy poozy. Okada going to take a second and get his stamina back up. See, and that was the difference in that move right there. That allowed Okada to get that reversal. Oh my, that beautiful drop kick with a flip and everything. STO sends Seth Rollins to the floor as Okada gets him back up. Another suplex to the floor and Okada's not finished. He's chasing. Oh my goodness, Seth Rollins going for the balls. He's a bad, bad man. DDT from Kazushka Okada. They are both down on the outside. 10 count. Rollins is woozy. But he's going to get back in the ring before the count goes any further. A punch to the abdomen from Kazushka Okada. Now as he goes behind Seth Rollins. So Rollins saw that telegraph. Swinging neck breaker now. Picking up Okada. Off the ropes. Seth Rollins with the knee. Okada not done yet, though, in the back and forth. Who will come out on top? Seth Rollins with a super kick. Okada with a big boot. They are so equally matched, it's insane. Is he going to steal it over Rollins? He stole it over Seth Rollins. Kazuchika Okada picking up the win out of nowhere. Sorry, Seth. It just be like that okada is the man this match is scheduled for one fall and it's a round two match in the pcw destino tournament on his way to the ring representing julian b from patreon.com forward slash cm pulse he's wendy's future daddy the samoan submission machine samoa joe on his way to the ring, representing Chris M from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse, the cheese whiz extraordinaire, Rhino. You know, I was thinking about, we've had quite a few matches in this tournament end on regular moves, like a snap suplex or a northern light suplex, or it's uh, it's been a wild card of a tournament so far. So, I mean, I, anything could possibly happen at this point. I mean, it, literally anything. I would not be surprised at anything. Now we got Samoa Joe versus Rhino. Oh my goodness, this man's got it. This ain't ECW, man. This is PCW. I know you can get confused. The letters are a little different. It's all right, though, all right? We ain't gonna let you use that. Well, I was gonna say, we ain't gonna let you use the chair, but you kind of use the chair on yourself. You interacted with the chair, and now you're taking that damage. And Samoa Joe's gonna make you pay for it. You shouldn't have done that, Rhino, but hey, everybody makes mistakes. It'd be like that. Samoa Joe now throwing Rhino into the corner. And this man, Joe, is ruthless. This is old Joe right here. This man is ruthless. Look at these combination knees and punches. What kind of agility do you see out of any other big man? This is crazy. Samoa Joe with the knees now. Off the ropes goes Joe with a big ST. I thought it was a clothesline at first, but it almost can't win to an STO. Joe now. Oh, my goodness. Superman punch in the corner. Good. God. Rhino is getting swept up. Rhino has got to turn this around or Samoa Joe is going to finish this quick. From behind with a double axe handle goes Samoa Joe. Oh my goodness. This man somehow, I don't even know how he transitioned that. That was, this, 
this is a whole new Samoa Joe. We back in the mix with it. Samoa Joe now suplex, sends Rhino to the floor. Rhino might want to look out, but Joe's going to take the time to get some stamina instead of going for the dive. I know when you face Samoa Joe, you think a big man like that can't make the make the plays, but all of a sudden he does make the plays, and now you're left in Goo Goo Gaga land. Off the ropes goes Rhino. Oh, damn. Does that a bicycle kick? Did he get that other leg up? This man Joe. Again with the forearm in the corner. The flying forearm of doom. Oh, wait a Rhino off the ropes. Gore! If he can pick up the win with the gore out of nowhere, no, Joe's not going to go down just yet. If Rhino could have stringed together some moves, that might have been it, but that has not happened this match so far. This match has been pretty much dominantly Joe. STO sends him to the ground as he picks up Rhino again, trying to keep this combination of moves down. And Rhino showing off his strength. Samoa Joe is not a small man by any means. A belly-to-belly -belly suplex there from Rhino will send Samoa Joe over, but he used all of his energy. Rhino with a pile driver on Samoa Joe. Wait a minute, off the ropes, gore! Is the pile driver gore combo gonna be enough? 2.9, Joe staying alive. Center of the ring now, as Joe has got that Coquina clutch locked in with a great vine and all. He is not gonna give up just yet, but Joe keeps going with that back and forth. Rhino's showing off the strength one more time. Uh oh, wait a minute, Rhino off the ropes. Gore! But Samoa Joe no-sells it. And now Joe throws him outside the ring. Both men are going to take a second to get some stamina. Four. What has Rhino got planned here? Power bomb to Samoa Joe. Trying to get something from behind. I'm not too sure what he had planned there, but Joe now with the combination flurry. A little shimmy shake sham doobie bobby. Joe now going for a suplex, but Rhino's going to be able to reverse it. Nine minutes, 40 seconds. We have a reset here as the crowd is starting to get alive. Joe going to stop himself coming off the road there. That could have been a gore coming. Smart move there by Joe now. In the corner again, smashing him. Sending him flying with the sploder. Joe from behind. Big Lariat drops Rhino flush. But Rhino's still in it with another gore. One, two, three. Oh, my God. The gore. That is the, That might be one of the scariest moves in the whole tournament. Rhino will gore you until you die. Rhino and Chris M picking up the win. Samoa Joe had that. And the gore is just too much. This match is scheduled for one fall. And it's a round two match in the PCW Destino Tournament. On his way to the ring, representing Breakdown from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. You can see him because he's in Hollywood. John Cena. On his way to the ring, representing Sam M from Patreon.com forward slash CM Pulse. He's the John Cena of New Japan, Hiroshi Tanahashi. What a match to end this video. What a match to end part one of round number two. John Cena versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. This is my, this would be, if I had to pick a New Japan versus WWE dream card, this would be one of the matches on that card. John Cena, the ace of WWE versus Hiroshi Tanahashi, the ace of the universe, brother. That is absolutely one of my dream matches. I think every, I think most people can attest that they would like to see this match. Sadly, I don't know if we're ever going to get it, but it's nice to think about it. And it's nice that I can do it on Fire Pro and they can have a hell of a match. John Cena with a suplex out there to the floor now. Tanahashi dragging his ass to the center. He said, what you doing with them khakis, boy? He went for them knees real quick, but John Cena has got knee pads on people. He came into this match with a plan to protect his knees. Back body drop from John Cena now. Tanahashi trying to get something started, but John Cena's gonna suplex him into the ground and not allow that to happen. 
We'll see if John Cena can keep that kind of offense up. Tanahashi going to go for a pin. Just a one count on the big dog, John. Fireman's carry. Very similar to an attitude adjustment. Gut wrench suplex from John Cena now. Corner near the turnbuckle. Good spot for Tanahashi. Bad spot for John Cena. Back and forth punches. Strike contest. Who will come out on top here? Tanahashi or John Cena? John Cena at the very end, but using all his strength to do so. The closer and closer they are to that turnbuckle, the more and more Hiroshi Tanahashi is thinking about hitting that high fly flow. Off the ropes, but they're just going to hit each other. The physiques of both of these men are out of control. Back body drop from Tanahashi showing John Cena that he can do anything. He can do better. Wait a minute. Attitude adjustment from John Cena. And Tanahashi kicks out at two. Not happening just yet. European uppercut. Tanahashi with the... Oh, I thought maybe he was going for the high fly flow, but a flipping senton will be the move that he goes for. John Cena telling Tanahashi to just bring it, and that's what Tanahashi is going to do. But John Cena, attitude adjustment number two. 2.9, Tanahashi still not down. Cena with a knee going to drop Tanahashi there. I thought maybe we'd see a sling blade or something of that fashion. Forearm there. Another forearm to John Cena, but John Cena trying to go for a headlock. Tanahashi going to reverse into a back driver. Oh, swinging neck breaker there from Tanahashi, but John Cena is going to be the one. Uh-oh, this is not good. DDT, this is not good. Tanahashi back to his feet. Throwing a forearm. There you go. Take the knees out, Tanahashi. You know what you need to do, baby. Again, John Cena going for maybe a bulldog or something of that fashion, but Tanahashi not going to let it happen. Oh, going for a suplex. John Cena reverses. Sends Tanahashi to the floor. And now John's going to take a second to get a breather. But it looks like Tanahashi's a little woozy. Back to the ring goes Tanahashi. Rushing back to the ring. Only getting a four count. Dragging corkscrew there. As Tanahashi hits another swinging neck breaker. Going for the pin. 2.9. Tanahashi almost picking up the win. Oh, look at that. Tanahashi getting the bulldog. John Cena couldn't hit that. But Tanahashi could. Gut rinse suplex from John Cena as we have a reset now at nine minutes into this matchup. Tanahashi was looking a little woozy. John Cena is going to go into full force. Dragon court screw from Tanahashi who is near the turnbuckle. You know what he's thinking. John Cena sent him out to the floor, but Tanahashi, oh, wait a minute. I thought maybe he was going to get back in pretty quick, but had to take a second. Swinging neck breaker there from Tanahashi who goes for the pin one more time. That's an old signature of Tanahashi. 2.9. Again! Tanahashi ain't playing! Old school on his ass! 2.9 again! John Cena finally hit that move he wanted. This man just... Five knuckles shuffle from John Cena! Tanahashi throws the forearms here, but wait up! Oh! This man just drove his ass in the ground! 2.9! Tanahashi with the kick! High fly flow! And Tanahashi has beaten John Cena! What a match to end this video. Hiroshi Tanahashi taking Sam M to the next round. You could not have asked for a better matchup to end this video. That was fantastic stuff. Only 11 minutes, 25 seconds, but a hell of an 11 minutes to say the very least. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember, if you did, to leave a thumbs up to show your support. Tell me down in the comments below what your favorite match of the episode was, and I will see you guys next time. See ya!